Hey guys, it's been a while since I filmed the video, so this feels kind of weird being in front of a camera again. I mentioned how I wanted to take the channel in a little bit of a different direction and kind of expressing all like the other sides of just me, all the other sides of the things I want to do and just not making it only like a cars channel. I don't want to really do that or have that anymore. I wanted to kind of change up the things I was doing and really show all the things that are going on. And as part of that, I want to give you guys a behind the scenes look of how I run my YouTube business. Now, YouTube is a business and there are other things that I do that are classified under my business. Now, I used to own a business. I used to own an LLC. I started that, you know, that is, but that is over. That's gone now. That's officially like out of the picture. Right now, what I'm actually doing is just setting everything up to classify and to register as a business. I don't have an LLC yet. I'll probably register in like maybe a week or two whenever I get like this kind of stuff done. For those of you who don't know, an LLC is a limited liability company. One of the best ways to like register as a business owner, basically that just means I'll be an official business owner once again, which that'll be super cool. I'm excited for that, but uh, nothing really changes. It's a little bit better for legality reasons and just for officialness. So right now I'm kind of taking everything that I've learned from closing down my first company to better set up and start my second company. And basically the reason I'm starting this is that so I can run the book through it. The book is now published, good to go, books for sale, everything's good. I have an ebook version, a paperback and hardcover all available on Amazon. And I'm getting, just starting to get into thinking about the audiobook. I want to make the audiobook, but just have a couple other things to finish up first. But the audiobook will be coming out. I have no idea when, but I'll try to get that out soon. But anyways, I wanted to be able to run that through the business as well as some YouTube income, TikTok, just a couple other random business income things and all my expenses, whatever. I just want to dot my I's and cross my T's from like an accounting perspective. So during my first business, one of the things that I did wrong from like an accounting perspective and like behind the scenes is I made things way, way more complicated. Uh, when I had my Amazon store, I made behind the scenes so complicated, like in my tax software and the way I like organized things that it was, it didn't make any sense. I was sort of just creating so much more work for myself and making it more complicated and conf confusing. And I didn't need that because I was only a very small company. I didn't need that level of complexity that I was creating and it was just causing me more time, costing me more money. And it made it so I didn't really get to take advantage of some of the cool things about having a small company, which that's versatility, being able to move and change fast. I just couldn't do that because I had built up this like big behind the scenes uh, administrative like conundrum basically. So moving forward behind the scenes, mostly I'm talking about like accounting software. I used QuickBooks before and I'm using QuickBooks again, but this time I'm getting everything brand new, up to date, and I'm using some different features to allow me to just be more efficient. Like beforehand, every time I made a transaction, I would have to personally input that blah, blah, blah into the tax software. And that was just, that's just not efficient. Like, I, like there's no reason I should have to be inputting like a thousand different receipts. It's just wasting time. So uh, now, let me show you guys. Now I'm sort of just starting this. I literally just got this software, but um, I've compiled all my different receipts, like my mileage, all my statements, just like better tracking all of this stuff and um, just sort of setting up my QuickBooks here. And then there's features on here, like, where's it at? Like some of the features on the mobile app, like I can just take pictures of all my invoices and upload them automatically. And I also linked this to my different accounts, like my credit card and my business bank account that automatically go in here so that every time I make a transaction, I don't have to like physically input it, it just automatically happens. So just sort of like, I've been doing like little tips and tricks here just to make things more efficient and save time. That was something I didn't do the first time around. I was just very inefficient and I don't like that. So uh, we're changing that moving forward. Another thing I also really learned when I started my first company is keep business and personal separate as much as possible. So that's something I've kept in mind, you know, getting ready to start this, this business and file. So now I keep really good records. I have this filing cabinet with you know, YouTube on it. Um, so I just keep a file of just all my stuff, basically all my startup costs and everything that I've spent money on. I keep my receipts and everything. But I haven't totally figured all of it out yet. Just trying to set this up so it'll be efficient moving forward. And so I won't have to waste a lot of time doing uh, little minuscule tasks. As you guys can see, I'm doing this all from my room right here. I don't really like this. I'm not really a super big fan of doing work in the same place that I sleep or relax. I feel like there's just, 
something about like going to a special place like an office or the library or something to get work done when I'm here I feel like oh like it's so easy to just lay in my bed or relax or do nothing and I feel like it's a lot easier to focus when you go to a place where that's all you do is work like when I go to the gym I go leave home there's no distractions there's no anything I go to the gym I work out that's all I do there and it's so much easier to focus and to get things done same kind of concept with work. So I'm actually filming this on like part of my like hiatus from YouTube. Um, the last video I filmed was talking about how I quit YouTube. Now I don't want to quit you YouTube. I'm not quitting YouTube, but you guys probably will know that by now because I've posted a couple more videos. Anyways, I talked a little bit about learning and like wanting to become smarter. And it, one of the things I'm trying to do is get myself to a level of security. I am not a wealthy person but I want to become wealthy. I want to set myself up financially and mentally and physically and just in every way possible. I want to be the best I can be. I showed you guys my collection of books, which it is expanding. I purchased some more, but the everything on the top here, I have read. Uh, everything on the middle here, I have not read. And then everything on the bottom, I have read. So like, it's gotten to the point where I can like think, oh, hey, like what do I want to learn about? And I'll just pick one of these books that I already have bought and then I'll start learning about them. Right now, my goal is to become a good long-term investor. In order to make big, crazy, uh, phenomenal business moves and money moves, I need to first be able to make small moves. Like right now, I don't have an emergency fund. I need that before I need to worry about buying real estate. Like lately, I have been paying what I will call poor tax. What I mean by that is like getting charged for not having enough money, having to pay more money because I don't have money. You don't have enough money in your bank account, so you overdraw and there's a fee or you have to pay credit card interest. Like those are all what I would consider poor tax. You don't have money, so you have to pay more money. Like that is not okay. I'm an accountant. That should be, I shouldn't have done that. But whatever, regardless, I got myself in this situation. I can get myself out. That's just sort of my first big goal here is to get myself to a level of security. I think it's important to be able to make small, good financial choices, like having an emergency fund before I'll be able to make these big financial moves that I want to make. This is just one of the books I'm reading. I literally haven't even started this yet. I just finished up my other book uh, the other day. Uh, this one's Unshakable, Your Guide to Financial Freedom. I have a feeling it's going to just talk about like, oh, invest in a Roth IRA, blah, 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 you know, save money, have an emergency fund. The basic like things that they tell you when you're first starting to get financially literate. But who knows? I haven't started it yet. I'm going to get back to work here, though. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of update video. I hope you are all doing well. Uh, remember to work hard today. Chase your dreams. Do something you'll be proud of in the future. Love you guys and have a good one.